eu tenho um vídeo novo do Enes, mané. Que ele, pô, simplesmente foi visitar um motorhome lá, um... Qual é o nome disso em português, mané? Porra, de 2 milhões de dólares. Porra, eu não vejo isso que eu sou maluco. Trailer. Perfeito. Desculpa, sou burro. Tá vendo? Porra, daí é 2 milhões de dólares porque tem um carro de 500 mil dólares aqui, porra. Tô errado eu? Vai junto isso aqui? Vai é foda, né? What's up, everybody? Cadê o Alejandola? E aí, pessoal? Eu achei que esse canal... Esse, esse é o canal principal dele, né? Ele fez um vídeo de... De trailer no canal secundário e aí bombou. Aí ele trouxe um pra esse aqui. What's up, everybody? It's NS here and welcome to Wuppertal, Germany. On this week's episode, we're touring this luxury motorhome, the Performance S, built by Walkner Mobile. And what's so unique about this motorhome is the fact that you can bring your supercar anywhere you travel thanks to its center garage design. É meio pequeno, né? Tu carro, teu carro tem que ser pequeno, né? Now, this model starts around 1.6 million euros, which is around 1 million dollars. And the price goes up from there based on the upgrades that you choose. As always, you can find more information about Walkner and this motorhome down in the description of this video. And now, let's begin our tour. Caralho, pela quinta solar. Nossa, rebaixado cabe ali. É, não chega a tá fraca essa galera não, hein. We're gonna start our tour at the exterior of this motorhome. I like the silver color and they have mesmo. some logos and graphics also throughout the RV as well. If you look on this side, you can see the massive windshield and on Pô, é bonito pra caralho. Já começa daí. É bonito pra caralho. On each side you have these oversized side mirrors with cameras and in fact Mikey right in the center we have additional camera and more cameras around the sides of the RV that way you get that 360 bird's eye view from the inside screen now right in front of me we have this section here and actually engine is not located here engine is located on the back but this door opens up to the 10k generator so I wanted to mention that and like we said at the beginning of the video this is their performance S model which is their top of the line we'll comprar, home. now Mikey Let's take a quick look here. Vou comprar, hein? This is our main entry, and I'm going to talk about the details here in a bit. But first, I want to cover the center garage. This design here is one of the most unique. Garagem central é sacanagem, né? Que garagem central, porra? Aspects of this amazing motorhome. You can actually park your car or your supercar right in the center. And what's so great about the system is the fact that it's super easy and it's patented from Walkner Mobile. Yeah, Ines and I came across this article a few months ago that had this uh, RV in it. And we couldn't believe that there were RVs out there that had full-size vehicles that could fit inside of them. Pô, eu queria saber quanto, qual é essa questão da altura aí, mano. Porque tem que ser um carro específico mesmo, né? Absolutely. Tô sendo um pouco chato nessa, nessa questão. Porque, pô, estão tratando... Obviamente que eu não tô querendo colocar aí uma S10. Mas, porra, não cabe, sei lá, um Corolla. Um Corolla não cabe aí, pô. Tem que ser um carro esportivo pequeno. Absolutely. In fact, in that article... É, eu não tô querendo colocar uma HB20. Uma HB20, não. Uma, uma Santa Fé. Mas, pô, uma HB20 não cabe aí, por exemplo, eu acho. Será que cabe? Não cabe. A HB20 é maior que esse carro aí, pô. They had a Bugatti Chiron going... Ai. ...underneath this same model, which is super fast. Esse mal Corolla cabe, hein? ...and uh, here we are in Germany. Não cabe, não. Yeah, we had to come see it in person. Anyway, uh, show us how this works. This is super cool, Mikey. So you have a steel floor plate that essentially slides into the motorhome. And the way they accomplish that is through hydraulics, right? If you look here, Mikey, you have these steel legs that basically raises up the motorhome. So you have a better... O foda é que se bater um, bate os dois. Caralho, que leitura, hein? Papo reto, é verdade. Se bater um, bate... Imagina o cara causar um acidente. Pô, um cara tá dirigindo lá, sei lá, tá alcoolizado. Aí bate de frente com o teu, com o teu trailer, né? Aí tu fala, pô, irmão, tu vai ter que pagar o conserto do meu trailer. E da minha Porsche. Pô, fudeu. O cara tá fudido, pô. Caralho, o bagulho sobe e desce, mano. Cara, se bate que cabe o Toyota Corolla. Cabe um carro grande aí, cara. Caralho, que pica! Legs raise up and you're ready to drive off. Yeah. 
o bagulho mais tecnológico que eu vi na minha vida. Pretty, pretty uh, interesting. I didn't know anything like this existed. It's, it's amazing. I mean, you can bring your supercar anywhere you go. Yeah. Acho que não cabe não, Mikey, não, mas... it doesn't end here because if you look above us, we have a motorized, massive awning design that comes out. Foda. So, this floor assembly here can essentially serve as your covered patio space. You can put your outdoor furniture here once you pull your car out. And what's great is that, let's say you have a full dining and outdoor furniture set up here and you want to leave your RV to go somewhere. Press a button, steel assembly goes inside, you have it nicely covered, you don't have to move anything, you don't have to change your outdoor uh, seating setup, yeah. and then when you come back, push Cara, eu sou muito foda. Push a button, it comes out again. Yeah, it's really cool. And not to mention, if you don't want to keep a car in here, you could probably have like several motorcycles, you bicycles. could have bicycles, you could have anything. It gets better, Mikey, let's take a quick look. Inside of this section here, it's heated and you actually have your electrical panels, few pumps and other stuff that you can access and serve. Ai, caralho, eu achei que fosse, eu achei que fosse um pouco acolchoado por dentro, mano. Assim é meio doideira, não acha não? Se arrebentar um cano aí, por exemplo, em cima da tua aposta, tua aposta fica toda cagada, né? Começa daí. Se arrebentar um, pão, um cano que leva o cocô, a tua urina pro depósito, arrebenta e teu carro tá mijado. And like I mentioned earlier, the center garage is Pô, achei que fosse um bagulho acolchoadinho. Passa no quebra-molas, o carro pula. Pô, bate ali naquele telhado ali, aquele teto, sei lá, mano. Design is patented by Walkner. Now, what I mean by that is, if you look at vehicles this size... Não faz sentido. Passou no quebra-molas, esse carro não vai bater no teto. Vai, vai passar reto, vai passar liso. É isso? Conventionally, they have a long beam that runs the length of the entire vehicle. But if you look at this motorhome right in the center, it's all empty because it has a H-shaped steel frame that runs in the middle which allows this garage to be all open and thus the patented garage system where you can take your Porsche anywhere you want. It's pretty unique. It's amazing, right? Tá Now, Michael, let's continue our tour. We have another storage area here, some outdoor furniture. I know you're gonna like this. A little gas grill. That's right. Nice guys. And go to the back of this motor home. This is where we have the engine. Now, before we cover that, three and a half ton tow hook, so you can bring your jet ski, four wheeler, claro. whatever you want, and check. So jet ski, so. This out, Mikey. Ready? This is another distinct detail of this motorhome. So, what are the advantages of having the engine at the back of the vehicle? Number one, cockpit is extremely quiet when you're driving, super smooth. Number two, because the engine is located here, you get a better steering angles and yeah. turning radius because tires have more uh, space. Pra dirigir uma parada dessa, tem que ser bom de roda, tá? Não adianta tu ser ruim de roda não, filho. Esse carro aí é pra bom de roda. It's to move around. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm curious. I guess with a full-size vehicle, fazer uma merda car, nisso aí, your center of gravity is um uh, very balanced when you're driving. So you're, I'm sure it's a much smoother correct. driving experience. You're Você é bom de roda? Pô, minha and roda é melhor. Engine, 460 PS, 460 horsepower. You have horsepower. this section here where you have some of your tools nicely attached. Another great thing about having the engine on the back, easy to maintain. You don't have to go through the motor home. And uh, 460 horsepower, pretty amazing. 350 liter fuel capacity. Now, coming to this, side of the vehicle, we have additional storage area, again, Cara, more outdoor furniture. This is where we have the AdBlue. And now let's talk about the slide out. 50 centimeters deep, 10 meters wide. This adds five square meters of extra interior space Sim, to this motorhome. And look at the size here, Mikey. É bonito pra caralho ele por fora. This big. A roda é bonita, pô. É porque ele também andou pouco essa porra, né? Yeah, and it's kind of hard to justify from the exterior, but once we go inside, it's uh, much 350 litros de diesel dá o preço da Porsche. Clear how much space it offers. It's almost the entire length of the vehicle. I mean, vehicle is only 12 meters Meu long. Deus. It's two and a half meters wide and 3.85 meters tall. So it's almost the entire length. And again, gives a lot of interior square footage. Now we have more additional storage areas here. These are some of your tanks and disposal lines, your fuses, all that good stuff. And vehicle comes with an 800 liter fresh water tank. 600 liter black water, 300 liter toilet tank. So, it's super self-sufficient. We have everything you need. Caralho, yeah, moleque, tá maluco, pô. O bagulho é, é muito pesado, pô. Wondering any RV enthusiasts out there. Typically the space down Caralho, there is utilized. Caralho, moleque, que porra é essa? Kind of cargo space storage where you put your suitcases, that kind of thing. But the interior of this is so spacious. They have full-size closets. 
they have so much extra space that I haven't seen on any other RV. So, so much storage areas. Yeah, so you don't really need that. And you can always, you know, if you don't have a car, you still have plenty of storage space still. Absolutely, Mikey, well said. And this particular model right here was actually built for a Mini Cooper. Although we have a Porsche 911 here, mm. with Mini Cooper, obviously you will get way more space here. You can put additional few bikes. You can access it from each side. Yeah. And this patented uh, design I'm, here I'm is well, such well. a unique aspect of this brand. Well, Mikey, they have a video where they lift up the entire vehicle. So it sits on four hydraulic poles, right? The frame is so sturdy, even with the hydraulics raised and the vehicle lifted, all these components, doors, latches, everything closes perfectly, which means car doesn't flex at all. Now, continuing our tour, we ah. have an additional storage area right underneath the driver's Porra, seat. Porra, tu vai levar coisa pra caralho. In fact, Pô, tem coisa pra caralho pra tu guardar, hein? Puta que pariu. Since we saw the batteries here, I want to mention, right on top we have solar panels that provides 2400 kilowatts of energy and we have battery packs that has 1800 amp capacity which is amazing Puta, como é que o caralho tu... entra logo and we have the front door right here mikey check this out you have few latches here for extra security corian steps takes you inside i'll see you guys up there nice all right everyone here we are like caralho tá malu Pô, só essa cabine do piloto é muito foda. Olha isso aqui, cara. At the cockpit, nice and spacious here. I'm six foot tall and it's... Pô, é alto pra caralho. As you guys can see, ceilings are... Really... Tem porteiro. Really high here, spacious, nice welcoming space. Now, I want to first talk about the cockpit. Mikey, let's get a close up. I'm going to take a seat here. You have this massive windshield here that gives... Olha aí, cara, vai tomar no cu, velho. Que bagulho doido. Visibility. All the surfaces are clad with Alcantara or leather, so it's nice and welcoming here. Upper cabinets, LED lighting, and since you sleep inside of this motorhome, you have automatic shades and curtains throughout the blackout space. Foda. And looking at the driver's side, again, it's very... Olha, que bagulho é muito doido, né? Parece um... Spacious. Seats are extremely comfortable. You have your... Essa cadeira, cara, eu vou até sentar direito, mas caralho, que cadeirão, doidão. Porra! Touch screen here, and this car is also capable of adaptive cruise control, lane assist, emergency brake, all that safety features. And throughout the screen, you can pretty much control all the Caralho, functions cadeira, of the vehicle. Filho. Now, in terms of the seats themselves, they're heated, cooled, and check this out, Mikey. You also get a massage feature. That's awesome, you gotta have that. You gotta have that, right? Overall, driver's side is great, nice and spacious. How about your seat? Uh, it's really comfortable, and uh, I love how massive these windows are. It feels like you can kind of see everything if you're so high up off the road. Um, but exactly. something kind of unique, I don't know if most motorhomes have this, like right underneath my seat where my legs would usually go, uh, are the stairs. So there's a motorized flooring there that covers that space. That way Caralho! you have the motorhome parked. You can use muito foda, cara. That covers that space. Caralho, teu pé não fica voando. That way, uh, when Porra, you muito bolado, tá? parked, you can utilize that space and, uh, it's just a nice safety feature. Yeah, it's really nice. And Mikey. We got one more super cool detail. Ah, isso aí vai virar cadeira. Ready? Todos viram. I love this thing. So, obviously these oh, bate, chairs. Bate ali, bate ali, ó. Can be adjusted. Tá batendo ali no, no volante, hein? Turn to the other side. And we ready for this? E? As someone who loves working like myself, can get some work done. E? in this space here. Yeah, so right behind me, they have this little cabinet that has a HDMI um, and a few other plugs. So you can connect your computer to it. And- uh, Caralho, maneirinho, tá? It's a great little workspace. Porra, bateu uma gameplay? Space when you're, you know, at your campsite or wherever you park. You have the perfect seat. You're a little bit detached from the seating area. Mikey, this is awesome. And when you're done, you put your keyboard away here. And then, um, let's see, let's lower this thing. There you go, it tucks nicely. Boa lado, tá? and perfect you're done all right let's continue our tour right behind the cockpit we have the seating area very spacious you can probably sit eight to ten people here very comfortably no come on the... de oito a dez pessoas por seis vamos de seis very spacious you can probably sit eight to ten people here very seis no máximo comfortably you have the built-in dining table right in the center and above that this trim detail with LED lighting and built-in speakers. 
overall great space and very warm. Yeah, and uh, earlier we actually closed the slide out on this side, and I was really impressed by how much space there is even when it's closed or it's like in driving. Um, do outro. Absolutely, you can still utilize the space even with the slide out uh, pulled in, yeah. which is amazing. And Mikey, right across from your seating area, push off a button, you have a motorized TV Puta that comes up. Pariu. Above that, you have all these upper cabinets, Isso. and down below, we have more basic po, po. cabinets. Now, Mikey, I want to talk about the window design here. Two awning windows that opens up so you can get some fresh air coming in. And check this out. Buck screen. What? Blackout. I find it really, really satisfying that that window perfectly clears the garage door also. Absolutely. And you can just leave it open. It serves as a little roof, yeah. even during rain. Now, we have another window on the other side. Corian floors here. Another detail I want to mention. Ready, Mikey? That's a bar stool, but it also serves as a little side table. E caralho, que parada, hein? You have a carved in cup holder here. Caralho. They thought of everything. They thought of everything, right? And I almost forgot this detail, but I just recognized it. This is a scale model of a same style RV. Look how. Que paradinha, Detailed it is on the inside. And it has a slide out too that comes out. How even cool. even has a little coffee machine. Exactly. And uh, they have this exact model right outside of the factory as well. So they still have this RV. They still own it. Very cool. Now, that's it for the living room. É, a sala é maneirinha, mas também. Area. Mikey, let's go this way. Cabinet you can see is maneirinha. Beautiful wood veneer on the walls and throughout the cabinetry. Não achei muito foda não, tá ligado? Aquele outro que a gente viu achei mais bolado que esse. Another detail I want to mention. É maneirinho, sofá de lisar, o caralho, mas... Não. Maneiro. Maneiro. Mikey, look at the countertops here. There are these slits. Those are your radiator outlets. And look at these. Those are your air conditioning outlets. É porra, forte. Nicely blended into the cabinetry and the countertops. So it diffuses air and blends it in nicely throughout the interior. Yeah. Now, we have more cabinetry here. I love this glassware design with the racks, LED lighting below. Pô, isso aí é mó doideira, mano. Será que essa porra não quebra, mano? Pô, essa porra não cai, não, mano. Essa porra cai, hein? Não, para aí, para, 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 para o vídeo. Pô, tu não deixou o like ainda? Tu não se inscreveu no canal? Pô, pelo amor de Deus, dá essa moral pra mim. Eu não, mere... Eu não mereço isso? Eu não mereço? Pô, tá de brincadeira, pô. That you have perfectly organized this set that has their own custom locations, so nothing moves around as you're driving. And all the cabinets, Mikey, I'm sure you've seen it, all these handles lock, so you don't have any rattle as you're driving this vehicle. Now, let's cover the kitchen, which is super cool. You literally have, Pô, esse é pico. have everything you need here. <coughs> Starting with the sink, you have your coring counter. Mec, tem um cooktop. Tops. Um cooking top. Induction cooktop. Another awning window here, and Mikey, we need a close up. I thought this was super cool. Dishwasher drawer. Ah, nice. Above the countertop. Yeah. So it's nice and easy to access. You don't usually see, you saw the see dishwashers in uh, RVs, do you? No, not only that, but I just like the cabinet one. I don't know. I almost want to put this in a regular home. Yeah. On an upper cabinet just for convenience. And I mean, look at all this. They have spice racks here, ah, mood pica. lighting. And behind us, que que tem your Siemens oven. Additional cabinetry space to utilize, and of course, no kitchen is complete without a fridge. You have to have it. We have that here. Now, Forte. continuing our tour, you can seal off the common areas through this pocket door here. And look, there's no. Moleque, a modo idea. Que porra é essa? Uh, movement here besides the handle. Yeah, just don't. So it's not gonna rattle as you're driving as it's tucked in. This is such a cool detail. We have to show this. It's currently not prepped, but those are small bunk beds that goes into cabinetry. So you can sleep additional people here if you would like to. That's a memory foam. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> those are small bunk beds that goes in. Você tá brincando, tá maluco? Vou dormir aí o quê, pô? Se eu dormir aí, pô, tá maluco é isso, cara? Vamos fechar aí no buraco? Pô, tá maluco, doidão? Tá achando que é IML, pô? Que isso, cara? Não, aí não, pô. O cara tá me confundindo com o Harry Potter, pô. Eu não vou fechar nessa porra aí não, cara. Tá maluco, pô. Into cabinetry. 
so you can sleep additional people here if you would like to. Pô, tá maluco, doidão. That's a memory foam. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's awesome. Now, more mood lighting. Debaixo da pia. Throughout, and this is where we have the vanity set up. Same countertops are also here. Nice backsplash detail. You have some upper cap. Ah, isso aí não, pô. Tem ar-condicionado? Foda-se, tem ar-condicionado. Tem ar-condicionado quando tu dorme. Quando tu acorda, vai saber se tem ar-condicionado. Tu tá brincando? Tu tá de sacanagem? Só tem amigo idiota pra me trancar lá dentro, irmão. Eu vou arrebentar esse motorhome. Eu vou arrebentar. Tá ligado aqueles idiotas que ficam de sacanagem? Porra, eu porra, vou sair quebrando essa porra de dentro pra fora. Tá maluco, pô. Que isso, gente? Ignora essa porra aí, irmão. Papo reto, cara. Pô, tá brincando, cara. Bota coisa aí dentro, pô. Bota, sei lá, só não... Porra, pelo amor de Deus. And right across from that, porra. First class. É pro cachorro? Pô, que cachorro, cara? Tá trancado o cachorro ali, cara. Tá brincando, cara. Que isso, gente? Store opens up to your water closet. Corian floors goes all the way in. And in fact, Mikey, all the flooring throughout the motorhome is heated as well, so it's nice and comfortable. And this toilet here has every single feature that you can think of. Ah, o it's cagador cool. é maneiro. It has a built-in bidet. All the controls are here. Behind... O cagador é maneiro, inegável. É num carro, né? É maior que algumas casas que a gente já viu. That you have a heated towel rack, which is super cool. And right here, Mikey, you have a nice... Mas é o famoso banheiro. Se você entrar de frente, se você vai mijar, se você vai entrar de costas, você vai cagar. Todo mundo sabe o que você vai fazer lá dentro, porque não dá pra você se virar ali dentro, não. Bent. And they left the shower glass a little bit lower, that way all the moisture can escape the shower. Se for cagar, tem que entrar de ré. And go through here. Now, before we check out the shower, right above us, we have a skylight that you can crank open. And just like all the windows, we have a blackout or a screen option if needed. Glass door number two opens up to the walk-in shower. Ai, apertado, hein? Porra! Melhor tu jogar... Joga sabão na, na parede e roda, porra. Pra mim isso não funciona. Corian base, chrome fixtures, rain head, this starlight ceiling detail, recessed light, so you have a small mirror and a hanging shelf. Assim parece grande, mas com a câmera dentro não. And I mean, it's pretty good size. Again, I'm six foot tall and nice and comfortable here. Apertado, apertado. Yeah, I was blown away by the size of, uh, I think also the fact that it's glass too. Typically they'll put like little doors on these RVs. It feels much more spacious than most do. And look, you can't move anything. Nothing rattles. Yeah. Now, Mikey, let's see another pocket door here going into your bedroom. Now, what's so impressive about this forte. bedroom is number one, the space. And number two, normally these motor homes that Não have the built-in garages, they end up putting the garages right at the end of the motorhome. And sometimes that makes them compromise the ceiling heights or the space in the bedroom setup. But that's not the case here. We only have the engine. That's why this bedroom is so spacious. Again, just like the living room area, you have a motorized Ooh, TV uh. that pops up, two awning windows with the same built-in screen and blackout shades. Coisa linda. Yeah, Forte. nice and spacious room. Right above us, we have this built-in starlight detail with a skylight right in the center and Mikey you can actually open the skylight even during rain because it lifts up straight that way it's still covered but you can get the ventilation and obviously we have the blackout a physical permite all that good stuff oh, and shit. look at the cabinetry in this bedroom you have cabinets everywhere and you have a lot of space to hang your clothes so like behind this full size mirror set up here that's additional cabinetry Pô, acho que a física não permite isso aí não hein? vai abrir o bagulho vai estar tá chovendo Pô, tem uma chuva que é lateral perigosa, tá ligado? Porra, não sei não, hein? Depois molha a porra toda, aí essa pai tá fodida, hein? They literally utilized every single space in this amazing motorhome. Now, so far we saw the exterior and the interior, and I think what's left is we should take this thing for a ride. Let's do it. Ele tá num lugar bonito pra caralho também. No NS review is complete unless we take it for a ride. Here we are on the roads of Rivertel and this motorhome rides so smoothly. It's incredibly quiet here. Again, thanks to the engine being located on the back. Views are amazing. This massive windshield really elevates the experience here. Front cabin is very comfortable, very spacious. Cara, eu achei foda, tá ligado? Mas por 2 milhões de dólares é loucura. O fato é, aquele primeiro que a gente viu, acho que era mais bravo que esse, cara. Max, who is the owner's son, driving us around. I don't know, life is good, we can't complain, and this motorhome certainly delivers. 
Não dá pra dormir no quarto porque o motor fica lá atrás. É, mas tu vai dormir com o motor ligado, pô? Como é que é? O que, que tu vai fazer? Vai botar no um piloto automático e vai dormir? Na hora de dormir, tu para o carro, pô. Só vai uma pessoa? Não, irmão, olha só. Aquela cama ali é a cama do proprietário, tá ligado? Desculpa, se você vai botar teu amigo pra dormir na tua cama lá, depois vai chegar o cara vai ter cagado a porra toda, pé sujo. Onde ele vai dormir ou onde o outro vai dormir, não importa. Não tem jeito. Se tu tiver com a tua mulher, pô, tu vai virar pra ela e falar assim, pô, tu tá dirigindo, a tua mulher, pô... Vai estar tá dando aquela, tá ligado? Aquela pescada na, na cadeira do lado. Ela fala, ah, vou dormir. Tu fala assim, pô, tu vai me abandonar aqui, mano? Pô, já estamos chegando lá. Tem que ter aquele apoio, né? Mas esse, eu acho que o motor deve ser silencioso. Brincadeiras à parte. É, tu bota teu amigo pra dormir no colchão embaixo da pia, pô. Se ele acha que, se ele acha que o motor tá muito barulhento, tranca ele embaixo da pia, no IML, e acorda no dia seguinte, porque ele tá preso ali, né? Essa que é a merda, porque ali... Ele vai ser liberado quando o outro acordar. Quando o dono acordar. Se tu tiver um sono pesado, for dormindo, foda-se. Tipo assim, pô, fui dormir meia-noite e acordei quatro da tarde. Tá ligado? E o cara vai ficar ali, 16 horas preso. É, particularmente, o, o Gabriel falou, é um motor de ônibus, porra. Geral dorme no ônibus, não tem esse bififi. O que, que é bififi, Gabriel? Mas tudo bem. É, é, o, é, é, o, é o next level do mimimi. Mas o, eu particularmente pego o ônibus leito, que é o pra dormir, né? Que você dorme no ônibus. E, pô, nunca tive problema, irmão. Nunca ouvi porra nenhuma. Nunca ouvi porra nenhuma. O ônibus, porra, pra ter noção, o ônibus para... Às vezes o ônibus parava no grau, mané. Desligava o motor e eu continuava dormindo. O piloto que abre a porta e fala, ó, oh, paramos no grau. Aí eu falei, opa, hora de amassar um alimento. Porque se o cara não vem me avisar, eu vou embora. Eu espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo. Eu quero dar um grande agradecimento à Volkner Family por nos convidar para o seu headquarters e nos permitir a tour do seu veículo incrível. Esse motorhome é realmente um único. E, como sempre, você pode encontrar mais informação sobre o veículo e o Volkner down na descrição desse vídeo. Lastly, se você gostou da tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel e we'll see you guys next week. Grau é coisa de rico, 40 reais uma coxinha. Tomar no teu cu, vai porra. Tu faz o quê? Tu para no grau e tu faz o quê no grau? Tu produz uma coxinha sozinho? O que que tu faz? Tu pega o quê? Tu pega o óleo do teu ônibus, aí tu bota pra fritar e tu mata um frango na rua. Ah, tomar no cu, porra. Tua mãe que paga a tua coxinha tá me irritando, porra. Tá curtindo o vídeo, ó? Não se esquece de se inscrever, de comentar aqui embaixo, deixar o seu like. Muito importante pra mim. Tamo junto.